Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you can set up a line graph in Microsoft Excel. It's a lot easier than you think. And as full disclosure, before we jump into this, I work at Microsoft as a full-time employee. All right, well, let's jump into it. I'm gonna jump onto my PC here and I have uh, Excel 365. This comes with Office 365. It's the latest and greatest version. If you don't have Excel, you could also go to office.com, sign in, it's entirely for free and you could use Excel there. So I'm gonna open up Excel that I have on my desktop. And what you'll see here is I have a table of data with uh, here in the one column I have the years and in the other column I have uh, conference attendees for those different years. And looking at a table only tells me so much. What I would like to do is instead I'd like to see this data in the form of a chart. So how do I insert a chart? Uh, so what we do is we go to insert on the top bar here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on insert. And by far the easiest way to insert a line chart is to simply click on recommended charts. And what you'll see is the first one that's recommended to me is a line chart. I also have a bar chart and I have different types of charts that I can insert, but I wanted to insert a line chart. So let me go ahead, I'll click okay on that. And here what you'll see is I have my line chart. I have the number of attendees on the Y axis or the vertical axis. And then here I have the years on the horizontal axis or the X axis. So another way that we could also do this, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this for now. I could go back to insert and here you'll see that I also have an option to insert a line or area chart. So I have all these different options here, but I'm gonna go ahead and click on this align one. When I insert this, unfortunately, it's not quite as easy as the recommended chart. But let me show you how I could get this chart to work with my data that I have here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this option that says select data on the top bar. And what you'll notice here is these are my different line charts. Well, I don't wanna chart out the year uh, because that's simply gonna advance throughout the year. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, and so I wanna, I wanna map out the conference attendance over time. So I'm gonna leave that here as a, leg a legend entries or series. Now what you'll see is here it says the horizontal axis. So this is the horizontal one right now. It just goes from one to six, but I want that to be the year. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on edit and what I want the range to be is instead I want that to be the year here. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight the year and then you'll notice that it appears immediately down here uh, in my chart. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on OK and this all looks good. So I'm gonna click on OK and so here you see the attendance by year. Now what I could also do is if I click on add chart element, I could add labels for these. So let me add the primary horizontal uh, label first. So I'm gonna click here and what I could do is here I could just say this is the year and I could also add another axis title. So I'll go back to the add chart element, axis titles, and I'll add a vertical uh, title in here. And maybe I'll just call this attendees. And I could also get rid of this element down here since it's pretty clear since there's just one thing that I'm charting out. Uh, so here, this is another way to create the same view or to create a simple line chart. Now, what I also wanted to show is how you can create a line chart if you have multiple pieces of information and you want two different axes of information. So here, once again, I have a set of data. It's the same data as above where I have my year, then I have my conference attendance, but now I also have food sales for those different years. So how do I visualize that? Well, what I'll do is I'll go back to insert and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna click on recommended charts. And here you see a bunch of recommendations. None of them are exactly what I want. So actually I'm gonna go ahead and click on all charts. And now you see the full set of options I have. Because I have two different axes, this is what's referred to as a combo chart. So I'm gonna click on combo. And here you'll see that there are two sets of information. I have my attendees and my food sales. So what I could do is for the conference attendance, maybe what I wanna do is um, I could go with the column, that looks good. And then the line for the food sales looks good. But what I wanna do is rather than having them both go off the same axes, instead I wanna say this is my secondary axes. And so now what you'll see is the conference attendance is on my, my primary axes right here. And then my secondary access, uh, axes is the food sales. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on okay. And now you'll see that it shows two sets of information using this left-hand side and the right-hand side to display this uh, combo information. Uh, so just another way to uh, create a chart and then maybe what I'd wanna do is I could retitle this and it could be conference attendance and food sales. 
Uh, so there I'm able to chart out two sets of information. So that was just a really quick tutorial on how you could create a really simple line chart in Microsoft Excel, whether you're just showing one set of information or whether you're using two sets of axes, the primary and the secondary. Uh, but that's really as simple as it is. Uh, hopefully you found this uh, tutorial helpful. Uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see future videos like this, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any other ideas or anything else that you wanna learn about, leave a comment down below. I I read all of them and I'll add it to my list of videos to create in the future. All right, well, that's all I have for you today. I'll see you next time. Bye.